Last time on my big moto adventure, I stayed the weekend with my buddy Keith and his lovely wife while they stuffed me full of food. And then I left the five star hotel Monday and headed north up to Milwaukee to jump on a fast ferry across Lake Michigan for some camping on the eastern side of the lake and then move around the north and tour Lake Michigan's shoreline. Man, I'm getting excited now. I was like, yeah, the lake. I wasn't excited about that, but, but now I'm like really excited. So. I feel like an ocean when you're out there and you can't see land on the other side. Yeah, that's going to be like cool. Like an ocean. There's water. There, there is no land in sight when you're up top. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. I'm excited, dude. You strap the bitch down and you go to the top. All right, buddy. See ya. Even though it was hard to leave the amazing food and the comfortable warm house and my amazing fun friends, it was hard to leave, but it was good to get back on the road. And I was really excited about the ferry ride. If you've been watching me, you know how childlike I am <laughs> with ferries. So, and this is a, a very unusual ferry. This is a very fast ferry. I've been on some pretty fast ferries. I went on a, a nice one across a lake in Canada. It's pretty fast. I'd say maybe 20 knots, but this one really got up and went. And uh, interesting little security checkpoint here. Felt like I was getting on an airplane. I guess probably the same situation. Okay, cool. Uh, then yeah, go ahead and follow Miles right over there and you're all set. Thank you. Enjoy the trip. Yeah, they, uh, they gave uh, really good service on this trip. It was uh, kind of surprising. Much like an airline, uh, they kind of treated their passengers uh, like guests in a hotel. So it was a little unusual just boarding a ship like that. But uh, <laughs> And then, of course, I rolled up behind couple of guys going across on bikes maybe the only two what's up man good day for a ride huh oh it was awesome we, we left uh, southern wisconsin western wisconsin this morning had that tailwind all the way took all the curvy roads it was just extraordinarily beautiful yeah i've never ridden through there before so you've never what ridden through there i'm from michigan so oh, okay i'm from alabama Should I give you the one that's going on I'll the take bike? Both. Or? Yeah, I'll take them both. Okay. You just leave one so we can see it. And your bag just like you had. Right? And then you can follow. Oops. Well, maybe. maybe. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah. Just follow that. You'll know. I think maybe most people watching this are, would not be as thrilled as I am to board a ferry on a motorcycle. I would probably be just as happy to get on uh, in a car, but yeah, there's something special about riding your bike onto a ferry and scooting across a lake or a river or whatever. Uh, and I've been this one? across lots of bodies of water on small ferries, large ferries. I've been on one that's barely bigger than a a small school bus and it's kind of that's fun of course it was cabled in but yeah so once they got these uh, cars jammed in there as tight as they could they don't waste any space uh, but yeah once they got them loaded in here uh, they pulled me up and told me to strap down my bike and uh, probably probably didn't need to strap it down but okay. that's if there were some big waves out there probably would have helped and uh, it was really cool uh, pulling out. They did this, uh, it wasn't even a three-point turn. It was just more of a backed off of the, the dock and then spun the boat around. And, uh, and then we idled out uh, of port. And uh, it, was, it was pretty cool, little, uh, little adventure out of port even. So, so we did a quick 360 and uh, spun our way around and started making our way towards the point and across the lake. And uh, this is a, when, uh, when we got up to idle speed on this little portion here as we made our way, it looks like there's open ocean out there, but there's actually a seawall 
or something I'm not really sure I guess that probably slows some of the waves down but uh, yeah that's kind of uh, about the time we uh, started idling it was uh, about the about the same speed as most of the uh, the ferries I've been on which, which is you know eight ten knots maybe pretty slow you know big ship and this is a big boat I maybe had uh, 50 cars in there and you know that many or more people and there's the city of Milwaukee over there and this is the first lighthouse it's a pretty small one um, but yeah first of many uh, this lake is covered uh, with lighthouses they're just all the way around the lake and it makes a whole lot of sense when you see how much fog comes off but you can see just now uh, winding up the engines and it starts kicking out a lot of uh, spray coming out of the back of the boat but you can also see that there's not really a big wake and we went from about you know two or three four knots to 36 knots pretty quickly or 36 miles an hour that's what I clocked on my phone anyway so but yeah you can see there's not much wake because it's a catapan it's pretty cool not just that kind of looking at the uh, looking at the landscape and the water zipping by you and then looking over at the city of Milwaukee as, uh, as we're leaving it's very cool and it took us two hours to cross the lake I would I think a conservative guesstimate of how long it would take me to ride around the southern part of the lake was about six and a half seven hours probably without uh, much influence of traffic but yeah it's a beautiful day very cold out on the top of the deck and I realized that pretty quickly that I was uh, not prepared I didn't bring a jacket all I had was a t-shirt it was pretty warm when I got on the boat so but yeah, inside the boat is where I spent most of the time. It's nice and warm in there, but very loud, oddly. Didn't expect it to be very loud. Much like an airplane, it was, uh, it was quite noisy below decks. And while I was completely unprepared, this couple had windbreakers on, and I think they spent the whole trip topside, which was pretty cool. I wish I would have brought a jacket. Fantasy Factory IPA, Madison, Wisconsin. I'll be coming back to Wisconsin soon. But for now, Daddy is happy. I think we're doing 30, 40 knots. We're getting it. And this, of course, is the first of three lighthouses as we entered the port, uh, or at least the three that I saw. And quite impressive and once you see uh, the fog that drifts out even in what is their spring up here uh, it's it's very impressive I can imagine what the winters are like here not being able to see 20 feet and this was a submarine I believe it was a World War II submarine um, that was very cool seeing it uh, of course they've probably got a museum behind you here maybe tell it tells a little bit more about the history of this boat and uh, um, other things. Do you have a do you have a submarine <laughs> in your town? <laughs> do you have a submarine in, in your freshwater lake? Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the many cool things that I saw entering this port. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful houses, uh, beautiful structures, a nice little park on the uh, on the side of the the port in this lake, and it's just it. Just looking at this place, it looks like a, uh, a an oceanside port. And here's the third, and maybe no, I think there may have been a fourth uh, lighthouse. I mean, this is a small one, just keep you from crashing into the daggum uh, pier here. And there's some sailboats out. They weren't really kicking it. There wasn't a whole lot of wind. But man, this lake was so cold. I got on um, the west side of the lake, and it was probably mid to high 70s. Got off, and it's probably 55 degrees. It's at least low 60s over here. So, And out in the middle of the lake, it was very cold. Very shocking. And uh, this was uh, a boat they stole from... Uh, <laughs> Wisconsin <laughs> kind of interesting uh, I would like to know the story there it looks like an ocean liner 
at least maybe some kind of a luxury liner to take you on a tour across the lake. Interesting little marina with uh, almost no boats in the slips. I'm guessing everybody's dry docked it. I bet it's really expensive to uh, to put a boat in any of these slips. It's probably why they're all maybe dry docked. Maybe it's, you know, just keep them out of the water. They have uh, less chance of sinking, surely. So, uh, but yeah, this was a, a really quick trip. I realized about this point, it's like I need to make my way. <laughs> I need to make my way down and uh, unstrap my bike because I'm probably going to be one of the first vehicles off. And yeah, so about about this time I realized I probably should start uh, making my way down towards <laughs> towards the uh, inner hull and uh, unstrapping my bike and I made it just about in time. It was, uh, I wasn't holding anybody up really and I probably had another two or three minutes but yeah this is one of my uh, one of my issues on ferries is a uh, I go, oh, yeah, it's time to get off the boat. Everybody else just goes and hops in their cars, but I actually have to go uh, unstrap my bike, which is, uh, I typically do a three-point strap. I do two at the front and one at the back, kind of keep the uh, the, back, the bike from moving forward. And this is, uh, you know, two flights of stairs down into the, the uh, car hold, car go hold, car go hold. And then I get in b between this lady and her husband, and she was real timid, but I just decided, yeah, I'm going through. I'm, nobody has to tell me when to go. The people are already loaded up, and there's the guys on the bike that uh, got on before me, but they had to wait their turn behind me. Quickly got my bike unstrapped, or in my mind, at least it was quickly. Uh, loaded up. Get off this ferry. Yeah, and like I said, it, uh, even when I got on land, it was maybe five degrees warmer once I got off the water, but still very cold over here. Very shocking the difference that lake makes. And I'm sure there's, there's a whole weather system that is based on this lake. Would not surprise me at all. So join me next time as I roll north up into the dunes of Lake Michigan for three days of camping at a very quiet and beautiful, peaceful spot in the dunes. Yes, these are dunes. They don't look like it, but there's a lot of sand out here. I'll see you next time. <laughs>